so children welcome back so children we will do a revisions of your evs book chapter 2 that is senses of touch and smell here we will do a revision got it children so now let's see here what are the things that we have learned in this chapter okay first one you see eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the five sense organs so we have learned about five sense organs okay those are eyes ears nose tongue and skin okay and you see second one the five senses are sight hearing smell taste and touch so what are the five senses those are sight hearing smell taste and tongue with our eyes we can see with our nose we can smell with our ears we can hear okay and with the skin when they touch them something we can feel it okay and here you see third skin is the larger sense organ many nerve endings are present in our skin okay so skin is the largest sense organs out of these five sense organs okay and many nerve endings are also present in our skin okay fourth one the tiny smell particles are picked up by the special smell cells present inside our nose okay so there is a special smell cells inside our nose with the help of that we are able to recognize what type of smell is okay fifth one you see a touch can be good or bad okay so good touch are where we feel comfortable okay we feel warm those are good touch and bad touch are those when someone touch us when we do not feel comfort okay we feel uncomfortable that is bad touch okay and last one you see we should be sensitive towards differently able people so here we have learned about differently people differently able people also yes or no children yes differently able people are those those these five sense organs out of these five sense organs if one or two does not work in that particular person then he is differently able people for the children now let's do this fill in the blanks with the correct answers okay number one you see we should not touch hot utensils okay we should not touch hot utensils if we touch hot utensils what will happen our hands will burn okay number two you see people who may not be able to hear or see are called weak differently able people helpless unique those are Okay, the answer will be differently able okay as we have discussed that differently able people their sense organs their one or two sense organ may not work properly okay third one you see people who cannot see use braille okay number four if one sense is not working then the other senses become stronger over time okay fifth one many nerve endings are present in nails hair fingers wrist so it is a finger okay now let's see this write t for true and f for false okay number one you will see the five senses are sight hearing smell taste and touch okay it is true yes or no Second one, you see, the tiny smell particles are picked up by the special smell cell present in our mouth. This is false, okay? This special smell cells is present in our nose. Yes or no? Yes. Number three, you see, we should not touch hot utensils with their hands, especially those in which food is being cooked. Okay, this is true. Fourth, you see, people who cannot hear use braille to read and right okay this is false okay people who cannot see only use braille okay fifth you see we should not pick up objects lying in a public place okay true so we should not pick up those things okay that are lying in public place okay six you see the skin has special smelling cells this is false okay then here they're not the skin but it is the nose has the special smelling cells okay see you see fill in the blanks nerves are present 
in all the sense organs. Got it? Number two, you see there are smell cells present inside the nose. Okay, as we have learned. Third, you see, sometimes a friendly touch by someone can make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, so when you feel this uncomfortable, that is a bad touch. Okay, four, some parts of body are more sensitive than others. Okay, those parts where this nerve ending are more, those places are sensitive. Okay, five, you see, nerve sending present in the skin sends signals to the brain. So, who sends signals? To the brain, those are nerves ending, okay? Six, the skin is the largest organ in human body. Got it? Now, let's discuss this question and answer, okay? The first question is, how do our sense organs help us, okay? And you see the answer, our sense organ help us to understand what is happening around us, okay? With the help of these sense organs, we are able to understand our surrounding, okay? Second one, you see, what is good touch, okay? When we feel a sense of comfort and warmth and we feel good and encouraged, these are good touch, okay? Third one, you see, what happens when we touch an object, okay? So, when we touch an object, the nerve endings in the skin send signals or information to brain okay the brain determines the meaning of signals whether an object is hot or cold rough or smooth sticky or slippery wet or dry and hard or soft okay or soft or hard okay now let's see number four question okay what should we do if a touch makes you feel uncomfortable okay so, what will we do when a touch is making you feel uncomfortable, okay? If a touch makes us feel uncomfortable, we should sternly ask the person to stop, okay? We should immediately, okay, seriously ask the person to stop, okay? We should inform our parents, teachers, and any other elder person about it immediately, okay? They will ensure our safety, okay? And here you see fifth one, name three things that we should not touch. Okay, so what are the things that we should not touch? Here, the three things that we should not touch are, number one, you see, we should not touch hot utensils with bare hands. Second one, we should never touch electric sockets or appliance with our wet hand. And third one, you see, we should not touch some plants like cactus, poison ivy, and fungi. Little. Okay, so these are the three things that we should not touch. Okay, and the last one you see is number six. How can we identify a smell? Okay, now let's see how can we identify a smell. Okay, the nose has special smelling cells. Okay, as we know that our nose has special smell cells. Okay, so whenever we smell anything, smell particles stick to this cell. Okay. They are stick to our special smell cell, okay? They send signals through nerves to the brain, and the brain identifies the smell, okay? To identify a smell, the brain uses its memories, okay? The information about a good or bad smell is already stored in our brain. So, you see here, about this good or bad smell, it is already stored in our brain brain okay which is recall the next time we get the same smell so whenever we get the smell it will just recall it okay recall it understood so here we stop with our chapter 2 revision so in the next video we will do a revisions of another chapter okay